Time for the coin toss now, presented by Coke Zero. Real Coke taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. Fresno State will be kicking off, and you can just feel the energy in the air for this opening kickoff. He's to the 20. And he's taken down at the 27. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. Catches it, and he's looking for more. Tackle made at the 37. From their own 37 yard line. It's second down. Looking for his man, incomplete. Stop short. Just nowhere for the ball carrier to go as the linebacker met him in the backfield. Boy, what great play recognition by this linebacker. He saw the run was coming, and he just shot through the gap and made a great tackle. They're stacking the line. It looks like they're coming after this punt. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. Gets to about the 34-yard line. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. Mike 51, Mike 51. And he's tackled around the 35-yard line. Second and nine coming up here. Ball on their own 35. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. On the draw, tackled in the backfield. hoped it would. King is the punter. And he makes it out to about the 31-yard line. Every drive's important in a tie game. I look for both sides to come out with some urgency. his way to the 39-yard line. Second and one. Ball on their own 39. And a nice catch there before he stepped out of bounds. Good pitch and catch there on second down. Yep, it was good enough to get him the first down. That's just a nice play. Strike to his receiver, no good. From the 47 yard line, it's Mike, second Mike. down. Mike six. Mike six. Okay, okay, okay. got it on the quick throw. So they pick up quite a few yards on that play, Kirk. Well, that was an excellent route, and he did a great job of holding on to the football.
So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. Up the middle for a nice game. Decent game there on the play by the running back, and that's enough for the first. Good running and a strong push to get into the second level of that defense. Tries to get out of trouble, but he can't shake the defense. So the sack makes this a second and long. I got one, I got one, I got one. Nice run, and he's brought down. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Mike six. Mike six. Run play, and he'll lose yards. He's going to aim this one to the sidelines, try to kick it out of bounds. This punt bounces into the end zone, and this will be a touchback. They've got to play with some focus and smarts here. They don't want to make a mistake and suddenly find themselves trailing. Laterals back, and he's taken down at the 20-yard line. That's a big-time read by this safety. You know, a lot of times as a safety, you're sitting back there making sure there isn't a play-action pass or play potentially that can go behind you. I think this safety has that sixth sense. His instincts on that play were special. He read the run, got into the backfield, and made the play. They'll bring him down at the 18-yard line. And he was pretty much stuffed on that run. You know what? That was just a nice job by the defense in stopping him before he could get going and build up momentum. It's third down, 12 to go. Ball on the 18. And he's going to be sacked. Boy, this pass rush is sometimes scary. They're really getting after the quarterback now. King to punt. Brought down at the 39. Let's get some points going right now. Not a lot of offense here in the opening quarter. I'm with you. I'd like to see a lot more offense than we've seen up to this point. Give credit to the defenses, but I think you're going to see both these offense coordinators get more of a feel for things and start to adjust their play call. And so far, it's been totally even. In close games like this, every possession is likely to matter. He's on the run. They bring him down. And it seemed like they had no problem getting to the quarterback on that play. Great call by the defensive coordinator to call the blitz. It left the defensive lineman free to get to the quarterback. the 39-yard line. Second down. Down. He gets rid of this one. He's going to try to cough and corner this one. You know, a lot of people in college football might find these types of games boring, but you look at the start of this game, this is good old-fashioned football, partner. I agree with you, Brad. I think sometimes you look at games, and if it's sloppy offense, that's one thing. But when you see two defenses go out and play with a great deal of emotion and dominate a football game, 
Sign me up for that every time. He's taken down at the six-yard line. So the quarterback keeps it on the option, but he'll lose a yard. Second down and 11. Ball on the six. He's going to try and scramble. Tackle at the 15-yard line. scoreless. We're all tied up as we head into quarter number two. the 39 yard line. Good job by the offensive line to pick up the linebacker on the blitz. That gave the quarterback enough time to find his man for a nice game. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 39 yard line. Throws complete and he's hit right away. right now is executed. They're not in a hurry, but they're very, very methodical and very consistent with their approach. That's the third first down that they've picked up on this drive. He laterals the ball. He fights forward to around midfield. From midfield. Second down. Seven yards on the play. This is the ninth play of this drive. Pitches back. And they make the stop right around the 44 yard line. The punter is going to try to pin them deep in their own territory with a good punt here. This one will go into the end zone, and they'll bring it out to the 20. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. Looks over the middle, and it's picked off. He's at the 40. He's tackled at about the 35. He just jumped up and snatched that ball. Well, there, I don't think the quarterback even saw him. The defender went up into the air and made a great catch. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 35-yard line. Seven yard line. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. And he makes it out to about the 27 yard line. It's third down, and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. a laser across 
across the middle. And down he goes around the 21-yard line. He was never able to get ahead of steam on that carry. From the 24-yard line, second down. First down, and he's out of bounds. I'm coming after you. I'm coming after you. I'm coming after you. Gets to about the eight yard line. Here's the eighth play of the series. football team has to consistently be able to capitalize when they're in the red zone. And he hits the PAT. A seven play, 36 yard drive. And they come away with seven points. Brad, I thought that was a textbook throw. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well executed touchdown drive. He's taken down at the 28-yard line. I just love to watch this defense play. They've been flying all over the field today, making big play after big play. The crazy thing is, we still have such a close game despite how well they play. We'll have to see now how the offense responds this time after throwing a pick on their last drive. Each possession gets more and more vital as the game goes on, especially when you're behind. You can't afford to make many more mistakes. Tackle made around the 43-yard line. First and ten. Ball on the 43. Gets it to his wide receiver, and he's got another one. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Mike six. Mike six. Zips it to the back, and he's tackled around the 39-yard line. right on target so that took a perfectly timed hard hit to knock it free strong defense to deny the completion from the 39 yard line it's second down now he's scrambling and they got it you know brad that time the defense brought the blitz and i think it confused the offensive line it's one thing to pick up the blitz but you also have to be accountable for the defensive lineman and that time the lineman got to the quarterback and came up with a sack the grab and steps out right away. That's the kind of poise you'd love to see from your quarterback because it's contagious. The defense sent all of their linebackers on a blitz, and no one on the offense looked phased. They came away with big yards and a first down. From the 25-yard line, first down. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. They'll make the sack. The defenders played the snap count perfectly. He found the path into the backfield and didn't let the quarterback get away. And this play is number eight on the drive. Gets it out quickly. 
And he's taken down around the 25-yard line. And so it's another third down upcoming here. Bring him down at around the 12-yard line. Not a real fancy play here, just a smartly run route. Good protection and a well-placed ball. Most times, you don't need much more than that. And they get him in the backfield for a loss. Boy, did you see how the defense just swarmed to the ball carrier? That was fantastic pursuit. He's scrambling. He gets sacked on the play. He's in trouble, and he's going to be sacked for a loss. Woo, Let's go. Let's go. The sack makes this a fourth and very long. Kick is up, and it's good. We've still got a half of football remaining. The Bulldogs lead it by four. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. Defense has been dominant in this game. Yards very hard to come by. But David, as we get deeper and deeper into this game, the natural assumption is that the pressure goes to the offense to do something. Yeah. How much pressure is on the defense not to make that catastrophic mistake? Well, that, that's, the, that's the conundrum you get it. I mean, it makes it exceptionally tough because you want to play perfect and you want to get them to punt every single time, but it's not the way it works. And it's those big plays that you usually see that kill the defenses and break their backs. And you can hold them great, Reese, on first down, second down, it's third and long. You're in a perfect situation. You give up that one play for 80, and it changes the whole complexion of the game. So I think you got to have a little bit of both. It can't just be great defense the whole time. Usually the teams that play great defense can keep you in it, but only for so long. At some point, that offense has to get something going. Just about time to start the second half. What, what do you think Herb Street's first point of analysis will be? Uh, I don't know, something to do with quarterback play, I'm sure. I mean, we've got to hear that stuff all the time. It's all about the quarterbacks. Brad and Kirk ready for the second half. Boy, I hope the second half's as good as the first. Just about set to start the third quarter in a tight one. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Well, the guys are chomping at the bit down there, waiting for the game to start back up. Fresno State is up four. And they'll get him in the backfield. From their own 25-yard line, it's second down. In the shotgun and five wideouts. He makes it out maybe to the 26-yard line. And here's a quick throw. Makes the catch and gets out of bounds. So the referee initially calls it a catch, but we'll get a second look at it here and determine if he was in bounds when he hauled it in. And that play happened so fast that it was very tough to tell if he was able to get a foot down or not. The ruling on the field will stand. He caught it. The only thing left to say about this play is that was an excellent catch. Oh, 
from their own 47-yard line. First down. He makes it to the 48-yard line. the eighth play of this drive. Gets out to around the 28. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 28. Throws it away. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run it. And they got him for a loss. And the defense just swarmed over him on that one. Yeah, they were able to penetrate the offensive line and get to the running back before that play even had a chance. Well, they'll line it up again on third down. Two for two so far on this drive. Throws it in a hurry. He's taken down right around the 26-yard line. Fresno State is up by four. The kick is up. It's got the distance. And he splits the uprights. Well, that one looked like it was going to be wide, but he put it inside the upright. Yeah, he squeaked that one in, and he didn't have much more than a couple of inches to spare. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback for Fresno State. They're really getting after the quarterback tonight. This defense has had success getting after the quarterback. They also have that one takeaway. And because of all their problems at the line, this offense is having a difficult time moving the ball. Well, when your overall average is less than four yards of play, that's the definition of struggling. Nothing unusual about how this game has unfolded. The better team is taking care of business. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. He gets rid of this one. It's second and ten. Ball on the 25. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. You know, these backwards plays can have a psychological impact. It can damage a team's confidence if it keeps happening. The protection broke down. The defense was in the backfield in a hurry, and they brought the quarterback down. Nice play. So no luck on that drive as they go three and out. After the sack, it's now fourth and long. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. He 
He's tackled at the 29-yard line. The Cougars have really surprised everybody in this football game. They have not been intimidated at all, which is great to see. The attitude and effort of this team has put them in a position where they got a shot to win this game here in the second half. So the offense will come out out of the field to take over once again. They got three points on their last drive, but with this kind of field position, they should be looking to get the ball into the end zone. Throws it out there. The defense really missed a golden opportunity there. That's what separates a good player from a great player. When you have a chance like that, you need to take advantage of it. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. These guys have the capability to gain solid, consistent yardage. They have to regroup, come out a bit more motivated next time. Third down, and they need to get it to the 19. Fresno State is up by a touchdown. Easy, easy. Quick throw, incomplete, one of his receiver. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. Fresno State can make this a two-possession game with a field goal. Kicks away, and he got it. Plenty of distance. Right down at the 21. They couldn't get anything going on that last drive. Down two possessions. This offense has to step up to capitalize on this possession. He's got an opening. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. They're about four yards away here on second down. Come on, let's go. Like six. Like six. Hey. And he hits him hard at the 21-yard line. Man, these guys can be aggressive. When you stand back there and take hits like that, you definitely are going to feel it the next day. And if those guys can't keep up with their man, you can give up some long completions like this one. So the big gain resulting from the pass play leaves us with a first and ten. I can't believe they let you play. I can't believe they even let you play. Slings it out there incomplete. And the wideout couldn't drag a foot. Yeah, but he showed really nice hands on that play. a great tackle at the 41 yard line so we're looking at another third down here hey check back check back back six back six down right down at the 27 and this is the eighth play of the drive let's go deep like six Make the stop at the 25. It's second down, eight to go. Ball on the 25. Just throws this one away. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. Quick throw. Tackle at the 16-yard line. So at the end of the third quarter, Fresno State leads it 13-3. All right, we're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. run and he's brought down oh, 
from the 12-yard line. Second down. They come out in a five-wide set. He's tackled at about the three-yard line. 13th play of the drive coming up. made at the one. Second down, goal to go. Ball on the one yard line. Touchdown, Washington State. If he punched that in from a short distance, he had great blocking up front on that play. The draw within a field goal. He makes the PAT. Looks like they're ready for the kick. From his own goal line. He's to the 20. Tackle at the 22-yard line. Up to this point, I wouldn't want to be an offensive coordinator in this game, but you know what? There's still time left. There's still time left, and it's still a competitive game. As bad as these offenses have looked, if you can string together a player or two, maybe try to get in the field goal range, who knows? Maybe a touchdown on the board could be the difference in the game. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. Fresno State has a three-point lead. And down he goes about to 21. Second and 11 coming up now. Ball on the 21 yard line. Mike 51, Mike 51. And he's tackled at the 17. Defense had that one called perfectly. That's a big play on that one. Talks. Caught out in the open. And he shoved out of bounds at about the 37 yard line. I like this wide receiver a lot. He knows where he needs to be on the field so the quarterback can get him the ball. He made a terrific play to keep this drive alive. He makes his way to about the 48. from their own 48-yard line. It's first down. Catches it, and that's all. Six yards that time on the pass play. Well, he really didn't have to do too much there to give himself a little room to make the catch. it out to about the 36. From the 36-yard line. First down. And he's taken down to the 37-yard line. When you're an option quarterback, you get used to getting popped pretty quickly. He'll bounce right back up. And this play is number eight on the drive. Backup quarterback into the game now to call the signals. Green nine, green nine. Blue four, blue four. run up the middle. We're at play number nine of this current drive. Just under three to go in regulation.
28-yard line. That pass play gets him roughly three yards. It wasn't a huge gain here, but at least you know as a quarterback that when you throw to this senior, you're putting the ball into some sure hands. It's up, looks long enough, and it's good! The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Washington State's given them all they can handle today, and they're still not done. Yeah, let's remember, they were a heavy underdog coming into this game, and here they are, under three minutes to go, with the football, a chance to put a drive together, and who knows, maybe they can take the lead. Throws incomplete, intended for his wideouts. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 25-yard line. Makes it to the 34. Open field tackle. Just under two minutes in the game. And he's hit immediately. It's second down, and they're about the length of the football from the first down marker. Oh, and he can't hang on. Huge drop there. Harry, Harry, Harry. Mike Sick. Mike Sick. He's scared. Hey. Hey. Throws to the receiver, and he's got it again. He's taken down right around the 42-yard line. From the 42-yard line, first down. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Catches it, and he's punished. Any offense is predicated on being able to move efficiently like this. This is the eighth play of this drive. And he's stopped behind the line. They couldn't get back to the line of scrimmage on that one. Well, I don't think they did a very good job of selling the pass. The defense was able to read the play and come right in there and make a nice stop. Well, you can see the elation on the defensive coordinator's side of things, and why not? His defense just came up with one of the biggest stops of the game in a vital spot in this fourth quarter. Looks like they've decided to go for it here. And if they don't get this one, you can start to warm up the bus. Throws in a hurry. It's intercepted, and that should do it. And he's level at the 26. Two times, two times. Pull down, pull down. Mike, Mike 51, Mike 51. Nothing more demoralizing for a defense than seeing the opposing quarterback take a knee. From their own 23-yard line. Second down. And this should be a deal now as they just try to kill the clock. Fresno State with a six-point lead. And the ball game's over. The Bulldogs take this one. 16-10. That's going to do it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreet, this is Brad Nessler saying goodbye.